Welcome back, family and friends, to another episode of Independent Joe. Uh, coming to you on a Wednesday evening, getting pretty close to evening now. And uh, I'm just going to drop it, post it, and and get to hear what you think of this video. A um, little disappointed in what I have here, and no offense to the um, distillery, the owner of the distillery, uh, Dave Finney who is also a Napa Valley winemaker. Um, when I read the bottle, when I was, uh, cause I was coming, I went to the Michigan meetup for those of you who know me. I went to the Michigan meetup on my way back, uh, picked up various bottles and these two were part of those bottles that I picked up. And uh, not knowing what they were, uh, looking at the name, it had a, Hispa a Mexican, uh, uh, verbiage on it, Weddle. Uh, Weddle is a term not always in a uh, non-derogatory uh, uh, reference to being a light-skinned or a, a whitish um, in skin tone or lighter skin tone um, when you are of Hispanic or Mexican uh, descent, uh, you, you're called Weddle. Um, uh, Dave uh, of course, uh, I guess he used to work in an uh, area where he was working around a bunch of migrants and they affectionately called him Weddle. Um, again, not always, not always an affection type thing. Although uh, my grandmother called one of my, one of my best friends, she, she always called him Weddle because he was a lighter shade of brown and he was Mexican. So, but uh, anyways, uh, so Dave Finney uh, brings to us uh, through his distillery, uh, Savage and Cook Distillery. Uh, cool name though, uh, of the, for the distillery. But uh, this distillery has been around for since 2018, something I did not know before I bought these bottles. Okay, because when I looked at the bottles, I thought, okay, California whiskey, and then I was gonna get a California whiskey, pour it in my glass, and taste something different than uh, what is outside of California. Uh, not that I'm upset with where they're from. It's just I just would have liked to known that these were sourced whiskeys uh, Prior to then I could have made a better uh, Judgment bad on me for not jumping on Google's and figuring that out, but when it says produced and bottled by I, I Would think that you're producing it you're making it you're 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 putting this together and putting it in the bottle so again uh, not the whiskey's fault. Uh, so after finding out that this one, okay, well, okay, I'm getting MGP juice in the 14 year. And in this one, I am getting George Dickel juice. So, um, in the 17 year, and I should have known that, uh, thinking, okay, there's a new distillery, um, has, probably hasn't been around that long. Savage and Cook, they do have other products that you always see on the shelves, especially if you go to like a, a total. And by the way, never mind, I won't, I won't air that out here, but you know, uh, have some bad feelings towards total right now, but uh, uh, they didn't select me for their, uh, uh, their giveaway or whatever, my, my chance to purchase a bottle, even though I am a Grand Reserve. Last year, I, I get it, because I wasn't a, three-time Grand Reserve as like, like last year. I'm only a Grand Reserve uh, this year, so. But I digress. Let me get back on topic. Uh, so Savage and Cook has uh, various other uh, whiskeys that they do have. One of them is, is those little, like, little squat bottle looking things uh, with pictures on them, really cool pictures on them. One of them's called Burning Chair. Uh, the other one is called Second Glance uh, American Whiskey. And, and then you have lip service. Lip service is the last one. And they have just some, I, what would look like iconic type pictures on them. Um, cool looking bottles. I have not purchased any of them. Uh, but, but all of them are in, in range from a three year old whiskey to a five year old whiskey. And then again, sourced. So I should have known that these were gonna be sourced. I did not. I did not do any research. I did not know that this this company right here, um, I, you know, uh, Savage 
didn't know too much about Savage and Cook. But again, they, they do, I mean, because there's so many California distilleries here and a lot, some of them are grain to glass, you know, one of them being Corbett Cash, you know. Um, so I was just, I was just looking to see if there would be another cool distillery I could talk about from California. Unfortunately for me, um, I've, I've got uh, uh, these here. So, uh, and again, not trying to piss anybody off. Put it on your bottles. Would appreciate that. Uh, this is an, uh, an American whiskey. Um, mostly corn. 99% to be exact. Corn, whiskey, 99% point. So, uh, yeah, so there's that. Um, this one right here, of course, is your standard mash bill for uh, George Dickel, which is your 84% corn, your 8% rye, and then your 8% uh, malted barley. So, yeah, so that's this one, 17-year and a 14-year Indiana, Tennessee. So... Uh, again, I, I, I don't have a problem with what is in inside of a bottle as long as you're up front too. Uh, hey, if it tastes good, I don't care. Um, they do come in these nice simple packages, you know, has a nice nice label, nice nice appearance, got this pretty cool uh, decanter looking top here. Um, fits in really tight. I had to leave it loose and it fits in tight. So you know that uh, you, you, if, if this bottle gets knocked over, nothing's going to spill. So I thought that was pretty cool, pretty innovative on how they did this, uh, this top, this topper. Uh, really difference in colors. 14 years. I've never seen such a lighter 14-year uh, uh, whiskey here. But uh, yeah. And then you got the 17-year. Again, I'm not doing... A uh, blind or anything because I would definitely be able to tell which is which so there'd be no point in that because a 99% corn you can't tell the difference between a 99% corn and then a, a deco mash bill hey um, I mean I mean there has been times where I got a little confused on certain mash bills but th this one right here the standard uh, mash bill for uh, George Dickel no it doesn't even say that that's where they're from uh, on their website all their other products do um, so I, I'm assuming because of the 99% corn mash bill that that's where this is from so from Ross and Squibb of course by the, at the time when they got it it was MGP and then you got your uh, 17 year old nickel air which um, let me see on the nose I mean, you do get that essence. You did it, do get a nice uh, brown sugar on it. Uh, very sweet. Start smelling this one uh, first because I probably should go into this one first because this one is at uh, I think 108 proof, 108 proof, and this one's at 128. So uh, yeah, there's that. Um, very very ethanol forward on this one uh, it's a corn whiskey straight I mean might as well be just a straight corn whiskey it's American whiskey but uh, yeah so th those flavors are um, night and day and when you smell this one you go back to this one because when at first you get all the brown sugars and everything and then you smell this one and then you go back you know it's George you know it's George a George Dickel product yeah um, they call these ultra rare uh, on their website uh, because of the uh, I guess how many they have to distribute so they got like 300 cases of this 14 year and then they got like 900 cases of this now cases of course can vary if you got a case of 6 to a case of 12 um, I don't know uh, I, I would assume they come in a case of six because they do they, they do come in their own canisters uh, like these of course just the plain label in the front I don't know if that's coming in it should be yeah. all right so you, you got two of them there uh, let me 
make sure I'm in focus. Yep, I'm in focus, yay! Now, I guess that's why people do edits, so that they can um, edit that part out and they can make sure they're in focus and stuff. And, um, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not at that level yet. Still trying, still trying. So, uh, yeah, so very ethanol y. Uh, you do get some, definitely a bunch of corn. Uh, ethanol corn, um, some sweetness in there. I won't, I won't say it's. It's not, there ain't no sweetness on that because there is, and I'd probably attribute it to the 14 years aged in a, in a, in a barrel. Cool. Now compared to uh, this one right here, I'd, I'd probably call this a Weddle. <laughs> this one's a little darker, I probably wouldn't call it Weddle. I don't know. Funny though. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go in on the taste. Uh, of course, I'm gonna go on this one first because it is lower proof I want to be able to grab stuff out of it before going to this one <sighs> cheers everybody thank you for supporting the channel thank you for those who uh, just subscribed uh, to those of you who just unsubscribed appreciate you too man come back if you want to it's up to you but uh, thank you all for supporting the channel um, it's it's growing and I, I can't thank you enough and appreciate you enough uh, for taking this journey with me thank you to all my patrons um, really appreciate your support um, and uh, can't thank you enough so uh, just thank you uh, and uh, cheers to you to you all as well hmm I will give it one thing okay I've had a few 17 year George Dickel products that are not that are not um, what do you call that that are not just straight George Dickel uh, like the uh, what is that Blue Note 17 I've had that straight Dickel straight George Dickel um, you got um, I'll say uh, the the rare uh, rare hair Rare hair, now that's a 15 year old plus, maybe a little, uh, little bit more. Again, straight George Dickel. This one right here, um, you, you get some heat, you get a nice flavor, you get a nice tone. Um, you do get the George Dickel flavor profile, but it is at a, I would say a better finish, a better profile. There's not too much of that medicinal flavor on there, maybe because it's soaked up by the 17 year or 17 years in the barrel. You do get uh, some uh, good, uh, nice, um, I'll say peppery, not too much peppery, but not too much cinnamon, uh, baking spices. Overall, um, not what I would be looking for in a whiskey. Um, definitely not at that price point that they are uh, selling it at. Um, I, I definitely would have uh, maybe liked this more, even at a 17 year old. I, I probably would, would knock this down to like a hundred dollar whiskey, maybe 120. So because there is there is some nice flavors in there you you can't buy rare hair for that price you can't buy uh you um you can't buy blue note 17 at that price so around that price range but also they would have to post it on the bottle to give people the choice on whether or not especially when you're going through uh different towns and maybe you just stop by a liquor store and you're like man i don't want to pass up on something that might be pretty rare and uh, that's what that was my uh, intention my thoughts and uh, I wish I would have taken the time to uh, Google and really uh, do done some research on the distillery again no offense to uh, Savage and Cook I, I, I just would uh, you know we in, in the whiskey community would love some transparency on the model and again some of us can like myself can't forgive that if the flavor profile matches the price matches uh, the product that you're selling uh, in this case this is this is definitely way overpriced uh, I would not recommend this bottle to anybody 
to go out and uh, purchase it because they're going to get something crazy good. Uh, is it good? I'll say yes. I won't say it's crazy good. I won't say it's a, it's a must-have. And I do have some crazy good must-have bottles. So let me go on to the next one. This one uh, has changed a little bit as it's sitting in the glass. A little bit, little bit softer tones now. Even though it's at 128, it's a light whiskey. They called it American whiskey, but it's, it is a light whiskey. It being 99% corn, you're gonna call it a light. It, it, it's supposed to be called a uh, light whiskey. Uh, there, Savage, Savage and Cook. It's a light whiskey. So um, it did turn into some type of bubblegum type flavor to it. Hey, got my uh, my my baseball shirt here, so the bubblegum uh, flavors might come through. I also have a bazooka joe shirt that i that i have uh, just gotten uh but uh i'll wear that on a different day yeah got got a little bit of bubble gum on this one some some real uh spicy tones to it um a lot of corn a lot of corn cheers everybody i'm just gonna go in on the flavors Um, very, again, corn forward, very, a lot sweeter than I would have thought on the, uh, on the palate than what it shows on the nose. Uh, it shows very ethanol forward because of the 128 proof. I won't say it's bad, but it might be mixing in with this one. I should have cleansed my palate, but there I go. Um, messing it all up. Well, at least I know that if I drink this and with this, then um, at, at least it'll be tolerable as far as the, that those ethanol tones. Yeah. Um, but you can't get away uh, from some tones for me in these high, high corn, 1% uh, malted barley uh, um, whiskeys here. Um, I do get a, a, a weird flavor in there. Um, I hate to say nail polish remover, but um, it does lean that way. There is some drying that I didn't get on this one now starting to, to, to come in as I'm talking. When I was talking with this one, I wasn't getting so much of uh, any drying effect. Right now, uh, that corn, corny, uh, like... Um, sweetness is coming through a uh, cornbread and it, it, it's starting to like um get a little grainy uh and maybe because of, of of it being 99 percent corn i'm gonna take one more drink why not huh yeah so going back to this one real quick George Dickel, <laughs> straight George Dickel. But again, I would choose this over um, the uh, Blue Note 17, which I've had multiple times. I don't have a bottle, but I've had it multiple times. I have the Rare Hair, which I thought, I, again, not knowing what it was, I thought it was a Kentucky whiskey, but it's not. It's definitely a straight uh, George Dickel product at 15 years. Uh, this one's at 17, so maybe those uh, flavors uh, that I'm getting uh, are a little bit muted uh, due to it being into the barrel uh, an extra two years. Who knows? But yeah, so that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Uh, these are the two bottles. I'm going to show you these right here. Let's see. Just the way they look. Damn, is that even focus? Jesus. I won't know until I put it on the screen. So, but I appreciate you all again. Thank you to my patrons who uh, who supported this channel from the beginning. Love you guys. Love you who support the channel by subbing. Um, I am uh, so grateful to you all, and uh, thank you, family and friends, for uh, help helping me uh, be able to uh, find bottles like this and purchase bottles like this. Without you, I would not be able to do it. But thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
and um, I'll see you on the next one and hopefully hopefully it will be with, be with uh, some products that uh, which I think it will be because there are some products that I some uh, whiskeys that I that I want to uh, to do uh, some uh, uh, more reviews on coming soon um, maybe even tomorrow maybe even the next day so because I'm not coming on Saturday for those of you who stuck by this long to catch the ending and I'm over here got a little bit of uh, burps but um yeah um, love you guys thank you and have a great uh, morning uh, afternoon good night uh, whatever time you're watching this appreciate you all thank you